Hello everybody and welcome back to Watch Dogs Legion. This is Constable Edward Wolf. Uh, I was just being chased uh, trying to start this video by someone that he had apparently arrested before. And what do we have going on here? Something the matter. I hope something's wrong. No problem. You may go. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Uh, I accidentally recruited someone by saving them from one of those random things where they were being arrested. Uh, they're no one special, they really didn't have anything to offer. Um, what else was there? I think that's uh, pretty much it. So we're going to be infiltrating Scotland Yard for evidence and we are a police constable so we should be able to get in the front door pretty easily uh, we'll have to get in uniform Uh, let's get in the uniform. This is fucked. Albion is running the station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. Great. Not a fan of the Met, but I'll take Bobby's over jackboots any day. Not to worry. The only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in. Alright, here's hoping we can get through here with very little in the way of issues. Uh, when I did this before on the other save, um, not in this particular game, I was being spotted constantly while in uniform, so I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or if it's a ranking thing, but hopefully the constable should be able to get through decently. I hope at least. There we go. I think you just made a new friend. If Albion wanted to lock them up, they must be dangerous. And dangerous we can use. Dead on. I don't like how the music got all uh, intense. Well, time to take back our police station then. Also, as a cop, you have the ability to uh, turn on handcuffing people, but then they can be arrested, and as these are Albion agents we're dealing with, that would make a whole lot of sense. Who are you? Eh. I'll add you, just because we saved you, but I don't think we're ever going to touch that person. Alright, continuing on. As we meander slowly. Oh, yeah. I'm going. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, that's cute.
uh, as a officer, we have access to a stun gun and our non-lethal electric pistol. Unfortunately, we don't have real weapons, but that's what all BN agents are for. So we just gotta get the evidence and get out. down. And now we've got a captain. Okay, well that was a unexpected turn of events, I suppose. You thinking what I'm thinking, Bagley? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Must be a way to ID the last user. Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. I've got this. the contractor. Okay. Uh, all right. We have to take control, I'm guessing. That opening right there looks like a good exit point. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. Can I not get up there? So lost. Ah, it's platforming. Gotcha. I don't quite understand stealthing around uh, in uniform because. We're at Scotland Yard as a constable, and sure, maybe he hasn't been to Scotland Yard before. But why would an Albion agent be trying to stop me because they haven't seen me before? Still in uniform, 
in the place he belongs at. And while we got him from Buckingham Palace, guarantee you if we took him to Buckingham Palace and we tried walking around, well, people would be like, I've never seen him before as well. Uh, like, it just, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, I get it, it can't be too easy, but they're also way too quick to call you out. And it, it just feels a little on the unfair side. Buggery fuck, would you look at all this junk? You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next vent opening. Oh boy. Platforming. So much fun in a Watch Dogs game. Especially when it's constantly broken. The cops have practically no presence in this game. They're here. They exist, but they do nothing. They don't there. even have their own cars. It's just Albion. Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Fine. I mean, it wasn't really breaking in. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. This fucking rabbit hole just goes deeper and deeper, doesn't it? Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. Why? What's the matter with you? You're fucked. Full stop. Nice to welcome another tough nut to the crew. Strength and unity, right? Damn right. Man's ready to tear it up. Fuck yeah. There we go. And I missed. For this. I don't think we have to come inside here for anything because of uh, our little drone buddy. Hey, check this shit out. It's the fucking back cave down here, but for like cops or whatever. Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. So how'd they end up sniffing around the tone bomb? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former Inspector now, since Albion's coup. 
The Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Wait, so Albion's in with Clan Kelly? Man, fuck the feds. I've been saying that forever. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. Snatching people off the streets. Oh, that's so fucked up. You know what? Let's do something about it. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. This can't be the only one of these, like. This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former DedSec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London-born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's DedSec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London. The bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sick. This is kind of personal team. Finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Bruv, I wouldn't want to spend a minute trapped in the EPC. And one of our family dead sick is in there. We better get him out. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. Shit. We're being contacted by our potential recruit. Patching them through now. Thank you. I'm in your debt. So you what? Join DedSec and we'll call it even. Sound good? All right. I'm in. Let's have some fun. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's go up over here. Everything's still up higher, so up we go. Just do the job, they'll ignore you. Gun station. All right. What do we have here? Oh, we've encountered him before. 
That's a good example of what I mentioned uh, in an earlier video of the world being kind of open and living. Now, if I was that particular operative, he would probably have a grudge towards them. IT specialist. Was easy before. Very nice, dead sec. No, 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 no. Right. Okay. Okay. Seems Albion has a surveillance network in Lambeth that makes 1980s East Germany look like present day East Germany. I'm sure the people of Lambeth will be interested to know just how closely they are being watched. See if we can deal with him. What's going on here? Now this is an Albion station. Technically. I'm not allowed here, so this makes more sense, but as I am a police officer, I can be here. Something the matter, officer? Right. Uh, everyone intelligence officer Space, Must be downstairs. We'll find our whatever they're called eventually, I'm sure. Albion Captain out of uniform. Harmonica performance. That's oh, different. What's wrong with you? Analyzing okay, blood samples. Go. Well. Get our tech points and we will be on our way. Oh, that's a hand. Uh, aha. Okay, then. Well. 
Alright, we'll stay out of here. Initiate search protocol. Where'd the, uh... Stealing. Nice to welcome another tough nut to the crew. Strength and unity, right? Yes. I'm ready to go bastard hunting with you lot. Brilliant. Fine. Uh, this. I'm fucking off. Alright. Say hello to Catherine Naku. Naku? Macau. Uh, she's gonna be our Albion uh, infiltrator here, cause this is gonna be an Albion Albion held uh, location. So the only way in is gonna be Albion or drones, but stealth. Why not? delved more into Caitlin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases center around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. Let's find our contact. If Albion finds out Angel is that sec, they'll torture him for information. I don't know why it was quiet, I thought something was being said. Um, so we put on our mask outside of the red zones, if we have our gun out. Let's put that away. Got badly summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. Take the mask. This is under the radar, right? I don't want an actual record of me in their system. Um, no worries, I'll spoon. Uh, but come meet me on the rooftop. The only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes Better deportees grow. by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. Not sure but hey, it's to protect London, right? Um, ah. We need... Nope. <laughs> uh, we need spider drones. Uh, we can change the skins of the weapons, so as there's not a lot to choose from, we're going to buy this. We're going to equip it. And we could equip it to that, but I feel like that might ruin the stealth. I know it probably wouldn't do much other than what's already been done, but I'd feel better not just uh, jumping the gun on that, I guess. Today. 
Ah, there we are. Unemployed awaiting deportation. Desert Eagle. Alright. I'm gonna keep an eye on you because I want that gun. Frey, I'll take more damage. What is going on? This place is worse than our prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe how about once in a while? Like, no. Look at this place. They just dump people in here, out of sight, out of mind. How does this help anyone? People could get sick, die, or go missing, and no one would know. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know what Mary Kelly wants with a bunch of refugees, but knowing her, it's not good. Truth. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. And we'll go ahead and let's talk to her to have a mission on standby. Jesus Christ, are you fucking serious? Again? What the hell did I do this time? Take a deep breath. Oh, shit, you're not Albion. They've been hassling me all day, so yeah, I'm on edge right now. Calm yourself. Tell me what's wrong and we will work to fix it. I'm going mental, I swear. Albion fucking pats me down every time I pass a bloody checkpoint. I think someone's using that fucking CTOS to make false reports against me. Maybe. Do you have any enemies? Let's just say I don't have the easiest time making friends. Can you hack into the system for me? See what's going on? I'll owe you whatever the fuck you want if you help me out with this. All right, we look into it. That is the first time I've heard you need dialogue because of being uh, an agent. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. Then all we gotta do is get to it. Got you, you bastard. Bloody cheek. I'm putting a stop to this. Ah, oh, fuck. Well. Doesn't usually uh, do that. It normally takes a moment before they activate it if they're already standing in its zone. Well, damn. Uh, is the paper in here? Yep. Take a second and grab some stuff that's on the outskirts of everything. There we go. Got it. There we go, and now we're back to stealth. Somehow. It's probably best if we don't question that one. Way. And we, oh my god, 
it's such a maze and it's so dark. Is that everyone in here? Yep, looks like it. What? what? Done. That's bogus, but all right. Back through the vents I go, then. Should be able to get in now, no problem. There we go. Go on, Bagley. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labeled, Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with DedSec. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not going to go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Winding up floating in the dance? Fuck you! You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the four corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Bagley, shut up. I can handle this. I 
have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Well done. Uh, real quick though, what is uh what is you uh unemployed Arlen Goodwin puzzles so much. They're not fun. They're just kind of tedious. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. Let's make a deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. Just get the out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Ah! They implanted him with something. We need a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orty that would be. Microchips coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. So there's a microchip implanted in Angel. Is it a tracker? Vitas monitor? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this clip hanger gets resolved. Keep going. Maybe he got away. up on him. Come on, Angel. You fuckers! Shit, he might just make it. I wasn't expecting that. That microchip is a lot more than just a tracking device. Somehow it activated. Angel might be alive, though. But if the fuck Mary Coley's up to, he might still be alive. We need to find him, see what they did to him, and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, zero day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner. Check that out. I'm kicking ass left and right. That sec is just like Sunday school. You wouldn't have been recruited if Dead Sec thought you'd be killed that easily. Thank you, Bagley. I already knew that. Bagley's. Interpersonal skills take a little bit of getting used to. Good on you, kid. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for this episode of Watch Dogs Legion. Uh, in between now and the next part, I'm probably going to look into uh, getting a couple of extra operatives for us. Uh, no one overly special, just uh, the person with the Desert Eagle and maybe someone who can... Uh, 
I don't know if there's anyone overly interesting, I'll save it for you guys. Otherwise, I'll get us a couple of extra operatives that can help out going forward with the story. So, that's going to do it for this part. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you in whatever comes next. Bye guys!